All right, so we've installed Microsoft Fusion, and this is the last in our series of videos on how to install Windows 10 using VMware Fusion on a Mac. I have the Fusion application open here. If you don't, you can come up and go to Go and Applications and find it there. So I'll open up the default VMware application, and here I'm going to choose Add, and I'm going to do New. Now this window tends to confuse people, but let's look at it. Install from disk or image. This needs to be highlighted and it is. These are other ways to install a virtual machine. So as long as we have that clicked, we can hit continue. Now if you notice, I've already given it the direction to the Windows 10 folder that I want to use. Now if you don't see that there, what you can do is just say use another disk or image. And I put that image in my downloads. That's where it defaulted to and that's where I can use it. So at this point, I can click that image and click open. In my case, I already have it here, so I just highlight it and choose continue. At this point, I need to give this new Windows machine a username. I'm going to use Eric Magidson. I'm going to give it a nice complex password. And then my product key. Now, if you didn't write down your product key, you can find it again in your DreamSpark account. I put it on my clipboard. It's right there. You'll see it as, as grayed out so that you don't use the same product key. At this point, we can choose our Windows version. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10 Professional and choose Continue. Now, more seamless or more isolated, this is entirely up to you. I would suggest that you use more seamless because VMware Fusion will share your Mac's documents and applications with Windows. Files on the Mac that Windows supports will open in Windows. So this means that I don't have two separate, making them more isolated, it will not share the documents and applications with Windows. So I suggest more seamless and choose continue. Now understand the security risks of more seamless. That means the two operating systems are going to be able to talk to each other and share information. So at this point, if you notice, it's given me a summary. It's telling me what installation it's going to use and it's assigned a 60 gig capacity virtual hard drive and only one gig of data. At this point, I can go ahead and customize those settings okay, and name my machine, Windows 10, that should be fine, and choose Save. And what will come up is the Customize window. So I can only customize once I have the machine turned off. So if you've done the install, you realize you have more memory you can give the machine, you can come in and do it. What I'm going to do is go ahead and assign 2 gigabytes, 2048 of memory, to this machine. At that point, I choose play, and it will begin the install. I'm going to pause throughout this process so you don't have to sit here and watch the screen. But as you can see, it's beginning to install VMware. It's grabbed that ISO image that I downloaded from the DreamSpark, and it's beginning to install Windows. Now I'll go, I'll go ahead and pause and restart during key parts of the installation. So as you can see, it's gone through and it's setting up Windows. Here we get to choose the version that we want. It's the only one available. We choose Next. It'll start copying the files, getting them ready for installation, and go through this process. At this point, depending on the processing speed of your Mac, the amount of memory you have, this process may take a little while. Simply be patient as it completes the install. Again, I'll pause the video. So as you can see, it's getting close to completing 50% of its installation. So again, I'll pause while it continues the installation. So as you can see, it's done getting the files ready, and it's currently installing features and now the updates. So again, we'll just be patient as it completes the process. So once that completes, it goes ahead and reboots the Windows machine, just as if we were installing this on physical hardware. 
I'll go ahead and pause again while it continues. At that point, it'll get the devices ready. It'll go through, it may count down a percentage for you, again, depending on the processing power of your Mac, and continue the installation. So as you can see, Windows 10 is now loaded on the Mac. All I need to do is click in, there's my username. I'll put in my complex password, and it will fire up Windows for me. I'm into Windows and I'm ready to work just as if I was on a physical Windows 10 machine. So at this point, we're done with this video. In a subsequent video, if you'd like, I'll show you how to install Office onto your new Mac. Have a great day.